In today's video, I'm going to do a super quick flip through of a brand new 2025 Calival Plan Planner, as well as a flip through of a few sticker books. So stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Tracy and I am a girl with plans. So I have one of the new 2025 Calva Plan planners in front of me. I also have some sticker books that I'm going to flip through as well. What is going to be unique about these planners this year is there are going to be three different types of styles that you can choose from. And all three of the styles are available in both of her layouts, the dashboard, and the vertical so you don't have to choose anymore so i have one of them here i'm going to show you that and i'm going to also kind of go over some of the specifics as i flip through it so you ready wow so i choose i chose the fierce plans style I will pop the other two styles up on the screen. There's going to be a seasonal as well as like a floral, which is called Blooms. Um, Brilliant Blooms is what it's officially called, but it's your flower, your flowery one. And then this is just the fierce one. And you'll see this is more of a subdued, but it has the fierceness because of the animal prints. So there we go. That's the one that I chose. I will start flipping through it while kind of going over the specifics. The first thing I do want to mention is that all of the planners are 90 pound paper. I'm not sure how that translates to GSM, but I think it might be kind of close to like the 140 GSM, um, which your journal, like your Archer and Olive journals, some of your bullet journals are like 160 GSM. So this is pretty close. Um, I'll just take this out and let you do the sound test. That's how you know it's thick paper. I always do that. I don't know if that means anything to you guys or not, but I like to do that. Um, so yeah, and then, so all of them come with that. This is kind of the general look. So in your first section, which is just this little bit of section here that has like your calendars, your perpetual calendars and all that stuff, you also have this blank 12 box area, which is similar to this, but you can do whatever you want. They do have patterns right here on the spine and it's going to be corresponding to whatever theme you get but that is where the design on the pages end because as you'll see as i do my quick flip through um it is very kind of neutral the rest of the way this is the only hint of your actual design with that and the dividers so yeah i think i mentioned did i mention when they go on sale Friday, August the 30th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. I just start like getting into it and getting excited and going on along the way. So these are double-sided dividers, which is awesome. That means they are easy, they are easy to reuse. And then as soon as you flip, now this is gonna be in all the planners, you're gonna come to a dot grid page here. This page you can do whatever you want with, right? And then that is immediately preceding your calendar. So you have dot grid flips to the calendar. Um, so, you, I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory. You have your Sunday start, you have your four days over here, three days over here. So your, your little sidebar is flipped from the happy planner. Um, I haven't ever used a Calvo plan planners, um, but I have used planners with a right sidebar that doesn't really bother me. So there we go. And now I'm going to reveal the, the actual layout that I chose. And I went with the dashboard. And I went with the dashboard because of this. Um, I really like how Calibre Plan has decided to have a blank slate on this page. So it's dot grid, if you can't see. Um, and as a dot grid snob, I do like <laughs> the dots on this particular page. <laughs> um, they're not too light. They're not too dark. They're perfectly, <laughs> they're perfectly spaced. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it's completely neutral, so you can do whatever you want with it. And that was one of the reasons why I decided to go with this over the vertical. I'm not a huge fan of vertical layouts in general, um, but I think I'm going to be using this one for kind of like memory of the day. Um, I'm gonna do my memory of the day over here and then do some like creative journaling or weekly memories over here. That's kind of my idea. And I think this will work perfect for that because I don't want a lot of space for the daily memories because it just stresses me out. 
So all of the pages are like this and the dashboard. And then like, here's the last week of the month and you flip and you get another blank dot grid. So now I'm gonna just flip through to show you the dividers. They are double sided. So I'm just gonna show you one side <laughs> and you can see the tabs. So now you can see the color palette of this particular layout. Love this. This is probably one of my favorite color palettes in general. Um, not for not just for this planner, just I like I like these colors together. All right, guys. So now we're coming to November and December, and the last page of the planner is the same. It's just you have your last week followed by the dot grid, and of course your striped inside cover. So you can flip that if you want to have that be your front cover. All right. So that is my particular planner. Again, there will be six total, three different actual like themes. So you have the seasonal the um, floral or the brilliant blooms and then the fierce plans and then in each of those you can choose between the vertical or the dashboard layout so there is mine now i'm going to show you sticker book number one i'm going to do a super fast flip through of this one um everything in here is on paper so i can just start with that and i'm going to flip through all of them even though some of these are duplicate pages like you get two sheets i'm still going to flip through it kind of fast All right, there we go. So that was Fierce Plan Sticker Book. All three of the themes are gonna have a corresponding sticker book. So you can get the Fierce Plan Sticker Book, you can get the um, Seasonal Sticker Book, or you can get a Brilliant Bloom Sticker Book. And obviously, if you choose the Fierce Plans Planner, you can go with the Seasonal Sticker Book. You don't have to buy them both in combination, but there are corresponding sticker books or coordinating sticker books with each of the planner styles. So if you wanna be matchy-matchy, you can do that. There will also be a few accessories that will also be released that do match them. Now I have one more sticker book to show you. And that is Dashboard Basics. Now I'm gonna flip through this kind of quick too, but before I do that, I'm gonna to flip to one of the functional pages here. And I'm gonna open up the first one here just to kind of explain some differences in the dashboard stickers versus your regular stickers. So here is the double box. Let me make sure I'm in frame. Yes. So here is a double box. This is your standard double box that you see um, in a lot of sticker books that fit two of the vertical boxes. This is substantially bigger than the double box. These stickers are gonna be of various different sizes and the thought process is this will help you lay out this page. So that way you can use the big sticker here like this and it will cover up a whole section, kind of similar to how, think about how the Happy Planner had like a big box here and then two like huge squares here with a big box here. So you can kind of think of it like that. Um, that's why that is substantially bigger. These boxes here are for this. So that way your day, your day of the week and your date will still show if you want to put a sticker for the whole box. These are whole page checklist. So obviously you can cut them. You don't have to use, you can just take it and cut them to size them down. I actually prefer that because um, even with these regular size checklists, I rarely use the whole thing. So I don't mind cutting them down. And this is a super long header box <laughs> that will fit a pretty decent size of the page. It looks like it's pretty much from like here to here. So it will fit a pretty good size of the page. This header box here is even bigger than this. It's both a little bit, it looks like to be a little bit taller, just a little bit, um, and then wider. And then these. So here you have this one, which is substantially thicker, 
or wider than your standard sidebar box. It might be a little bit shorter and then this is just a unique box in itself. And like this would be perfect here if you wanna kind of mimic the happy planner type style um, boxes. So that is kind of a breakdown just so that way you can get a visual of how these are actually sized. I just don't wanna stick them to my pages yet because that's a 2025 planner. But now that that's underway, I'm gonna kind of go silent and do a flip through of this particular book so you can see the color palette. And this is just the 2025 planner edition of Dashboard Basics. So this is this is the color palette here. So it'll kind of go with anything. It's not specific for this particular planner. All right, there we go. New sticker books always give me a tough time when I'm trying to flip through, but that is the ones that I have to show you. So again, the Fierce Plans and the Dashboard Style, but you can also get it in vertical. Fierce Plans sticker book as well as Dashboard Basics. Um, I definitely feel free to browse the site to look at some of the other ones. I know Heather with Calibre Plan also did full flip throughs of all of the sticker books and planners that will be available. So I definitely be sure to check out her like YouTube channel or Instagram page for all of that information. Um, there are no discount codes available. However, I would appreciate if you would consider using my affiliate link, which I always have linked down in the description box, if you do choose to shop anything from Heather with Kel of a Plan. So again, everything will be released on Friday, August the 30th at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I don't believe I mentioned the prices. Your planners are going to be $45. Again, they are 90-pound paper, double-sided dividers, and I did not mention that they are metal disc, white metal disc, solid metal disc. Um, I believe those are all the specifics. These sticker books are thicker than your average sticker books. These are 40 page sticker books or standard sticker books are usually 30 pages. So all of the corresponding or coordinating sticker books for the planners are all going to be 40 pages and they are going for $27 being that they do have more pages. Your dashboard basics is your regular 30 page sticker book and that one is $20. So I think that is all the information on the release. Um, as always, I will have my link down in the description box and I hope you enjoyed this kind of quick flip through. Um, let me know if you are thinking about picking up anything from Calva Plans release and if so, what are you thinking about picking up? All right guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and if you have yet to subscribe, I hope you will consider subscribing. That's all I have for now. I hope you have a good rest of your day, evening or night. Until next time, bye.